the center of the vast universe, a remarkably bright star was born. It was a star that is born only once in a thousand years, the Millennium Star. According to legend, whoever possessed this mystical star was destined to become the superstar. However, since the Millennium Star was but a newborn, this text is fast, it fell from the starry sky. Hi, Mario. Around that time, Mario and his friends were all happily relaxing. When... Suddenly, the Millennium Star came crashing down. Mario and his friends soon began arguing over who should keep the Millennium Star. Seeing this, Lakitu came flying in, dangling a toy box from his rod. That's right, they could play Mario Party to see who the biggest superstar was. Suddenly, the Millennium Star gave off a brilliantly bright flash of light. And with that bright flash, Mario and his friends were transported inside the toy box. Okay. Greetings, I am the Millennium Star. You must pass my test to prove yourself worthy of possessing me. Follow me. Mario Party 3. <laughs> Hello everybody! Dominomial here, and welcome to a side series that I'm doing, Mario Party 3, my favorite Mario Party, and the objectively best Mario Party, and no convincing can tell me otherwise. Uh, although I do respect other people's opinions about what their favorite Mario Party is. So, let's get started. I already have a file, because I love this game. And I'm going to be, since I don't have anybody else to play with because of uh, social distancing, and it's not like there's a netplay mod for this game or anything like that, I'm going to play on story mode. And one thing I will say before I get uh, ahead of myself is that I am playing on actual hardware. I have my N64 right at my feet, I have the game in the cartridge slot, and I have an AV to HDMI adapter hooked up to my Elgato capture card, hooked up to the TV. It's a little bit of a weird setup, and I hope I have the right settings for this video, because if I screw this up, then the video will look badly, because this game is in standard definition, so on and so forth. But, if it all works out, we can enjoy a nice, small Let's Play of Mario Party 3. So I'm going to pick Yoshi. As you noticed, I picked super hard AIs. Yes, I'm a masochist, so I'm going to play with super hard computers. And we're going to be using all the mini games. Yes, these settings are okay. And I'll be playing Yoshi for this run. Oh! We already saw this. They just give us the story right away. Well, okay. I should have known. A and I could have. Wow. Around that time, Mario and his friends were all happily relaxing. Yeah, we already saw this. I completely butchered this intro on this video. Suddenly, the Millennium Star- yeah, we know, we know. And then Mario and his friends start fighting about who should keep the Millennium Star. Who wants to keep a star that fell from the sky, by the way? Like, would it be, that be, like, radioactive or anything? Or, like, dangerous in the slightest? But then they all decide to play Mario Party. Yes, they're playing Mario Party inside the video game Mario Party. So, huh. 
a little bit meta. Huh. Oh. Oh, shoot. I forgot who this character's name was. Oh, Tumble. Right, that's the... That's the, that's the living die. The sentient die. Yeah, okay. Okay. You must adventure across many lands and collect the star stamps. Wit, kindness, strength, love, courage. The rest, I couldn't see. If you can collect all seven, I shall accept you as the top superstar in the universe. First, you must set forth to get the Wit Star Stamp. Okay. And then he crashes into the Earth. Probably to... I heard that! I've gotta go tell the Great Bowser! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Koopa Kid. Ho ho, it looks like Yoshi's stone image is done. Well, if you're ready, let's go to Chilly Waters. So the stone images in the background are characters you beat the story mode with before. I think I need to play as a character I've already played as to play super hard. No, I don't want to hear the Battle Royale rules. Uh, or Royal, not Royale. Uh, I'll explain the mechanics of this specific Mario Party as we go on. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the N64 Mario Parties, or the older Mario Parties in general. Because after Mario Party 4, they start changing up like the rules quite a bit. And it makes things a little... It basically makes each game different from one another. Like, after Mario Party 4, they start using orbs instead of items, and after Mario Party 5, they completely ditch the set bonus stars and the hidden blocks. Uh, yeah, and the game is forcing us to play a 15 town, 15 turn round, no handicap, with bonus stars. And all the mini games, of course, because I chose that. So, this is gonna be one hell of a journey. Each. I'm planning on doing one board attempt per episode, so that will mean about an hour to an hour and a half per episode, and I think I'm going to upload this series maybe once a week, whenever I feel like it, I guess, because I'm in no rush to get episodes out like I am with Bug Fables. I've been waiting for you, Yoshi. Welcome to the legendary Chilly Waters. In this snowy, freezy land, you'll battle to become the superstar. And just as promised, if you win here, I'll stamp your card with the Wit Star stamp. Before we begin, we have to determine the turn order. Okay. I go first, which isn't always a good thing in Mario Party, but I'll explain that later. Second, Peach. Yeah, yeah. Third, DK. And fourth, Mario. If I really wanted to get super competitive about this game, and I am going to get competitive about this game, because this is the most strategically involved Mario Party game ever, I would have picked Waluigi because he's actually banned. <laughs> he's actually banned in competitive Mario Party because he has a slightly smaller hitbox than the rest of the characters. I... I think everybody else has the same size of hitbox. Uh-oh, the star ended up here! Trade in 20 coins to get it, if you can ever get here. So, Tumble basically represents different emotions randomly. He just... I think it's a he? I don't know. But Tumble basically represents different emotions every time they show the star. So, this board, huh? The most simple board. Uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. The star is in the top left, so I basically need to go in a straight line. I just need to hope I roll well. Seven. That's okay. Oh, right. I need to check if the settings are okay. That's Koopa Bank. Uh, you pay five coins every time you pass by it, and when you land on it, you get all the coins that everybody has put in there. 
Okay, yeah, these are all the settings I want. I have fast text and fast movement speed, and I have it saving every turn because this is actual hardware. I don't know when the hell the game will probably accidentally donk out on me. So, yeah. Can you roll it? Fuck you, Peach. You already landed on the bank. Good thing there wasn't a hidden block there, DK. And... Everybody landed on the bank today, huh? You don't get any bonus if there's no points in the bank when you land on it. Cheap... Fuck! This is the first minigame I draw. It's a button mashing minigame. And I'm playing with super hard AIs. So, I have to press A repeatedly and then press Z to die. To dive under the mines. You'll, you'll get to see what I mean. I am going to attempt this one just for the sake of demonstration. But I'm not going to win this minigame because I played against super hard AIs. You see, they're cheaters when it comes to button mashing. And they mash really quickly, and I'm trying my best here. So, that was a bit of a loss, but I guess I'll explain everything else that I'm going to try and explain as I go on. So... Okay, DK won. He gets 10 coins, and right now he has Coinstar. So, he has both the minigame and Coinstar. <sighs> I'm out of breath from talking a lot. Okay. I'll, I'll probably, like, play one or two turns just normally, and then I'll explain once I catch my breath. <laughs> two? Well, I can't go up, because that's away from the star. And... Peach, what are you doing? Oh, you're trying to get an item? Well, she basically gets a free item of her choice with that minigame. Okay. I would go for the reverse troop if I was her. The one in the middle. But she might try and go for poison troop or some other item. I guess Bowser's cell phone or whatever. Yeah, the Bowser's cell phone. Okay. So, I'm not really too worried about Peach, what Peach is doing right now. Because the Bowser's cell phone was honestly one of the mediocre, mediocre items she could have gotten from that. Okay. Mario, what's up with that roll? Uh, the, the star is in the top left, right? Like, it's... I'm not going crazy here. Are the AIs just being stupid, or are they being ridiculously smart and thinking ahead? Oh no, this minigame. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to check the map on my turn. So this minigame, I have to walk the path back and forth three times to make a bridge to the island in the center. It's simple in concept, but I lost practice. Especially with actual... Oh, fuck. I should've waited. I should've waited. I thought I could make the fast cycle. I don't think there is a fast cycle. Okay. Well... I am going to hate this. I immediately regret choosing super hard AIs. Okay, I made it. I made... Peach is going to win, unless she gets knocked off, which she isn't. Or Mario. Okay, so I lost that minigame because I got impatient and got hit by the cheap cheap immediately. So Mario won one minigame, DK won one minigame. Okay. <sighs> and Mario now has the coin star. 
So what I'm talking about when I'm like when I'm tracking the mini games in the Coin Star is that there are three set bonus stars in this game, and those of you that have played Mario Party before and are watching this and experienced know what I mean by this, but for those of you that aren't familiar with the more classic Mario Parties, the minigame star is a bonus star that's awarded to the player that wins the most minigames. Or at least on paper. It's determined by the amount of coins won by minigames, so each minigame rewards 10 coins, except for coin minigames, which reward coins based on how many you can collect. Or battle minigames, which is basically where everybody puts in coins to get a pot, and then the pot is divided up based on the ranking, so you could get potentially like over 100 coins from a battle minigame if everybody puts in 50. And if you win that battle minigame, even if you don't really win too many other minigames, you'll still have the most coins from minigames. So that's a little nuance there that a lot of people don't really recognize. I think they fixed that in Mario Party 4, where it actually is determined by the amount of minigames you win. <coughs> Coinstar is based off of the most coins any player had at one point in the game. And there's also the Happening Star, which... Oh, nice! I got the 33% chance of getting Baby Bowser. Uh, Reverse Mushroom, because Reverse Mushrooms in this game are OP as hell. Oh, nice. I can sh This is a happening space right ahead of me. Whoever lands on the most happening spaces by the end of the game will get a bonus star for it. So I want to land on this. Snowman didn't wake up. That has a chance of happening, so no board even happened. Now, Peach might just try and screw me over because I'm the only human player. No, she's screwing over Mario. No, fair enough. Oh, right, this is where that one Bowser meme is from. Uh, you'll know it when you see it, but... Yeah. That's actually pretty good. So the coin star is now at 23. I need to beat 23 coins if I want to get the coin star. Oh, and in the middle of the board, whenever two or more people are on the ice at one point, at the end of a turn... Then the ice breaks and they all go to the bottom right. Okay. Wow. A lot of people are getting the 1 in 3 chance of getting Baby Bowser. So whenever you visit a store, there's a 1 in 3 chance of getting Baby Bowser and a 2 in 3 chance of getting Toad. Toad sells, like, basically status boosting items or just helps with movement or anything else. Basically, it benefits the player that you buy from. Baby Bowser sells a lot of items that screw over other players. But the Reverse Troop is actually a better buff than it is a uh, penalty, so... Yeah. Okay. I hope I'm the one chopping. Basically, you press the button that shows up. Okay, I'm the one chopping. A lot of focus going on here. Mario, just screw up, please! Or DK! The exact same amount of- it's a draw. <laughs> Fuck this game. So... I think DK, Peach, and Mario... Or... I think DK... Two people are currently tied for the minigame star. Or maybe three. I've already lost count. So where is the star again? <laughs> yeah, it's at the top left. Why is everybody going on the ice? Oh, I guess going up and left is technically shorter, but you don't get to pass by the shop. Oh yes, an item minigame. Dory Dip. Woo. Uh... Ugh. 
Cellular Shopper is really good at the item in the middle. But Mushroom, like, it is good to just have more movement. So I might just try and go for the Mushroom. So I think I want to Ground Pound the moment the Mushroom is in the bottom right corner. That's about it. I was just a bit late. A skeleton key isn't bad, it's just... It takes up item space, so if you don't really use it, it's not really worth it, but you can also just throw it away at any time. Okay. So, DK is currently in the lead with the most coins. With 27. I have the Happening Star right now because I'm the only one that landed on a Happening Space. And. Mario is actually, like, not in the lead for anything. He's in a worse off position than me. Ooh, 1v3 minigame. This is probably my only chance to actually win. Because 1v3 minigames are either really unbalanced towards the one player or towards the three. In this case, it's the one player. But I'm playing against three computers that are basically tassing the game, so uh, I could lose. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So a little tip with this minigame is that when you press the first two buttons in a sequence, it'll always be the last button that you haven't pressed. Oh shit. So I actually won the minigame because of that little trick. Because if you press Z and A, then you know the last button in the sequence will be B. Or if you press A and Z, or, or B and A, then you know the last button will be Z. Because the game doesn't have repeats in a row. So... I won a minigame! Granted, I almost fucked that up, but... Uh... Well... I could try and screw over DK with the Reverse Mushroom. <sighs> but I have a 60% chance of passing the star anyway on this turn. And I can only get three coins from landing on a blue space. And I would need to win the minigame this turn to actually have a chance of getting that star. There's a lot of factors involved, and that's to even say that DK rolls high enough to get very far away from the star or that he won't just pass it in the next turn. So DK is basically guaranteed to get that star. But I can improve my lead on the Happening Star. So this is an action time exclusive to Mario Party 3. You just have to press A when it starts flashing. There's a weird delay on it with like responsiveness. And so you only need to press it once, but if you press it multiple times, uh, you might fail. So just press it once when it flashes, and just trust that the game will do its job. Also, I don't know why DK failed that action. If he did it, he would have had a pretty good chance of getting the star, and now he's set off the wrong course. But... Fuck off, Mario. Fuck off. So what I was hoping for was to get a minigame that I could win. And if I did, I could use the reverse room on myself to go back to the star. Okay. 
what's Mario gonna get? He's probably going to try and go for Plunder Chest or Reverse Shroom. But, I don't know. It seems he got the Poison Mushroom. Okay. The Poison Mushroom reduces you or an opponent's role of, like, a, a player choice... A player of your choice, and it reduces their role from 1 to 3. Ooh, Picking Panic. Okay. This minigame is pretty simple, got a whole day and really say. And gotta make sure the computers aren't stupid. But that's something the computers are in charge of, not me. But this minigame is actually entirely RNG. Because you can see that the cherries from my side and Peach's side are actually <laughs> are actually different, so it's not a predetermined seed. So, so one team could literally just get more cherries than the other. Like so, as demonstrated with the bottom screen. So that minigame is actually complete bullshit and unfair. So DK is now in the lead for minigame star, I believe. The minigame and coin star. Okay. What moves can I do? <sighs> Using a reverse troop here would just be useless. But, I really do want to get a Mushroom. Movement in this game is vital. Okay. What are you doing, Peach? Okay. She is racing... Okay, now Peach has one happening space, so she's in competition for the happening star, but she still doesn't beat out my two happening spaces. What are you gonna do, DK? He's going to roll a one. He has no items with 37 coins and a minigame star. He's in a pretty good spot, but he's going nowhere fast, so it's not really any reason to worry about him. Not right now, anyway. If he accumulates enough coins to get, like, 50 and then passes by Boo, that's something to worry about. But right now, he's a non-threat. Let's get Parasol Plumbing, or not. Okay, I was hoping for the coin minigame so that... Okay, how do I play this game again? Move, A, jump, A, Z, attack. So this is basically bumper balls from Mario Party 2, but actually better. Because bumper balls in Mario Party 2 usually ends the draw. In this... Uh... Well, one, the knockback is more ridiculous. And two, after a while... Uh, the stage will start falling apart. Uh, like so. But DK won, so now he's definitely in the lead for minigame. I think he won four minigames right now, so he has 40 coins for minigames. I definitely could have won that, I'm just not amazing at that minigame. Okay. So... I'm not going to use the skeleton key, and I want to free up item space. So yes, I'm going to throw it away. I don't have enough coins to get the star yet, so I'm going to wait on that. Ooh. Here's hoping for a big pot. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 
38 coins. So I gotta get at least second place in this battle minigame so that I can get a refund. But if I get first place, I'll have enough for the star next turn. Uh, I'm not going to win this one. So, the idea behind this game is that Toad, Koopa, and Boo will go in their own separate doors respective to the buttons, and you have to press the button on which icon shows up the fastest, or which person. But these are task bots, so I'm just going to mash A and hope and hope that I get the right answer, because it's better than just trying and utterly failing because of super hard computers. Finish. See? The master of luck and his genius. His expertise. <laughs> if you're bad at reaction time games, you can also just do that against other humans to at least guarantee yourself a 1 in 3 chance of winning. And now I'm actually almost in competition for the coin star. Not the minigame star, but the coin star. I just need to get more than what DK currently has. And if he buys an expensive item like a plunder chest, then it's going to take him a little bit longer to accumulate past 38. I was hoping DK would probably buy something a little bit more expensive. River Raiders, River- oh, fuck off. River Raiders is basically three coins for the one person and, like, barely anything for the two. That would have solidified my coin lead and I could have started competing for the minigame star. Okay, this game is bullshit. The iframes that- the invincibility frames that the three players have are way too ridiculous to actually, uh... How did I win? So, against AIs, that minigame is fine, I guess. But against actual human players, the invincibility frames are just way too long, and they can just go through half the waves that you put on. So now I have the coin star, and I'm in competition for the minigame star. So what I'm going to do right now is use this mushroom, because DK has a blunder chest which can steal an item from a player of their choosing. <sighs> so I want to use my item so that DK can't get a hold of it. Well, if anything, I now have... I now have three happening spaces. And I did succeed the action command, so that's good. I was really scared that I was going to fail or just fail me immediately because I was right there. But I guess I don't need to worry about that. So right now I have coin and happening, and I'm getting the first star on the board. So, that's actually good. This battle minigame, as long as it isn't more than 20 coins, I'll be fine. Good. And if DK loses this minigame, then he won't be able to compete for the coin star anymore. This minigame, just run under the clown with the pl run under the cloud with the plan. This minigame is kind of bullshit. Or, it's a little bit annoying because I think it's more about who gets closer to the center of the cloud at all times than it is... No, it's just longest amount of time, but this cloud is crazy, as you can, set, as you can tell. And there's barely any room, and everybody's pushing each other. It's just a whole fiasco. I think I got enough to get second place. Because I did get that once, like, part. Yeah, okay, I got second place. That's good. I get a refund. Well, no, I get, like, 
15 coins back. Which is basically a refund. DK is probably going to steal from me because he wants that reverse shroom. Yeah, I figured. But he's not going to have a chance to use it this turn, so as long as bullshit doesn't happen, I will get the star next turn since I go first. So Mario, don't you dare use that. Don't switch with me. Okay. I am fine. I am safe. I am now safe from the disaster that could have happened with the warp luck that Mario used. Mario's Puzzle Party. A puzzle game. <laughs> Bootleg Puyo Puyo. Oh, shoot, I forgot to look at the controls. Uh, you just want to match the colors and get up to 100 points first. Okay. Sometimes you can get bombs to... Yeah, sometimes you can just see ridiculous shit like that happen. I don't know how to play this game, I just kind of set the pieces down and hope good shit happens. So... <laughs> yeah. Very experienced at this game. Mario or DK is going to win this. There's no way I can come back from this. But good thing it isn't a battle mini game, or else I would be dead. I think DK is going to win. Yeah. Okay. So I think DK has five mini games now. Plus maybe battle. I don't know for sure. But Peach has Coin Star right now, and I'm not going to be going for Coin Star anymore, considering I'm getting this actual star and paying 20 points for it. Now, I'm pretty much in the lead, because with happening. Oh, <laughs> been there before. Mario can't get that star. He's the furthest possible... He's the furthest away he could be from that star. Now... I could land on the blue space, but let's go for another happening. That puts my happening spaces at four, and nobody has really come close to that right now. So, yeah, I want to jump over this snowball. I could have intentionally missed if I wanted to, so that I could set my path closer to Boo. But Boo against super hard AIs is kind. No, actually, I should have done that, because Peach has enough coins. Why did I do that? Whatever. So, Peach has coins and one star. I have happening and one star. And I should get a hold of at least more coins or another star before the game ends. Because right now, my true competition is Peach, because she now has Coin Star. And if she has the most coins by the end of the game, or more coins than me, she is going to win, because tiebreakers are decided by coins. And now DK uses... DK? Are you okay, buddy? Okay. Well, don't look a gift don't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> DK could have easily gotten that star and thrown a wrench in the whole plan. But he did it for some reason. 
so let's see what the game will be. Are you guys ready for me uh, enhancing letters for three minutes? Five minutes? Okay. Remember the order in which the drums are... It's Simon Says. It's Simon Says. B Z A B Z A B Bazab Bazabs <laughs> B Z A B Z Bazabs B Z A B Z Z B Z A B, Z, 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 A! <laughs> B, Z, A, B, Z, Z, A, B! B, Z, A, B, Z, A... B, Z, A, B, Z, Z, A, B, B. Okay. B, Z, A, B, Z, Z, A, B, B. Oh, fuck. I didn't get to see what uh, letter Mario chose. And honestly, <laughs> I, I'm not good at memory games. So now we just get to watch the AIs play for another minute. This mini game is fine in concept, it's just really damn slow. So, uh, yeah. This is probably one of the worst mini games in Mario Party. And DK lost. That's fine, we don't need DK to completely dominate the mini game star. And it's okay for Mario to win because he's in fourth place. I'd prefer him to win than for DK or Peach to win. I was really hoping to win that minigame, though, because, uh... I need the coins. Well, that was a productive turn. That could have been so much worse, but that's still pretty bad. Peach having a lot of coins is a bad thing. Honestly, the game could have given her a skeleton key, and that would have been the best possible, <laughs> best possible option. Hidden blocks in this game, unlike Mario Parties, other Mario Parties, they do have the option of giving you coins or potentially a star, but they can also give you a skeleton key or a rare item. I'm not going to go into rare items until we see one, which may not even happen in this LP, but it could. It could. And when they do, they will be... It will be really hype, especially if we get the best one. The most wacky one, you could say. So, you just gotta run and avoid the shadows. It's better to stay on the perimeter. And just go against the motion and move away when you can. Okay, so... DK, as long as one of us wins, both of us will win, or all three. Mario is bad at this game, so he only got Peach. And now I have more coins to potentially get a star if I come across one, but that also strengthens Peach's coin lead. Ooh. Okay. Okay, who do you predict will be the loser, Bowser? Uh, 
What the fuck, Bowser? You don't believe in me? <sighs> Ten? I thought it was only five! That minigame was useless! There's a 50% chance whether Toad or Bowser shows up. Toad predicts the winner and gives them 10 coins. Bowser predicts the loser and takes away 10 coins. But at the last five turns, now there's a slightly modified rule set where blue spaces and red spaces give and take away six coins respectively. And whenever you land on the same space as somebody else, you initiate a duel. Okay. Where is the star? Okay, so I have five. I get another happening space if I go to the right normally. And honestly, that is my best bet, because the star is... The star is, like, all the way over here. I'm not going to get that star in time, because both Mario and Peach are after it. And it, like, if... If I'm lucky, both of them will land on the ice and go all the way to the bottom right and buy me some time. And, I mean, going right, bottom left, and then going left... <laughs> it's just way too much time, and also it's not even guaranteed chance of getting the star because the ice could break the moment somebody lands on there again. So I think my best bet is to just say no to the snowman and continue going right. And that way, I can also go to Boo. And that way, I also have five happening spaces. Five! Okay. DK used up a mushroom for no real reason. He's got one happening space, which is nothing compared to my five. It's actually pretty much impossible for him to tie with me. I'm guaranteed to get the happening star this game. It's really scary when the game doesn't react right away when you press A. If I failed that, I would have skipped Boo, which I don't want. Okay. Bobby Bones. What item are you getting, Mario? <laughs> uh, imagine him getting the magic lamb. He got a mushroom. Not a bad choice. There is a way to, like, metagame that minigame. Uh... If you guys are interested in playing Mario Party a bit more competitively, or just being better at Mario Party, I do recommend watching the Identifying Luck series from Zoomzike. His Mario Party 3 video is the longest because of this, of course, is the best and most strategic and most skill-based Mario Party there is. <laughs> but, yeah. This game is timing-based. You just need to get the correct features. Oh, fuck. Peach got a perfect Mario, so she would've... <sighs> I got the hardest set out of that one. Because he can either get Toad, Wiggler, or Mario. Mario has five parts, Toad has three, and Wiggler has four. The only way I could've got coins from that minigame was if I got a perfect score tied with Peach. But, 
Okay, so I have 10 spaces. I can go 4 left, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, land on the ice, which is useless. Not even considering the other options. And I can go to Boo. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, land on the very bottom right. Or I could go 3, go left one space, then go back for 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's basically the same thing. So it's better to just go straight down because you don't pass Boo. Do you pass Boo twice? No, you can't because you can't even go to the left. You can only do that with the reverse mushroom. What am I thinking? So I just have to go down. So I want to look at the other player's position. So Peach definitely has the most coins and she's nearing the star. And honestly, it would be in my best interest to lower Peach's coin amount. Because I know I'm going to beat DK and Mario at this rate anyway, and if a chance time doesn't happen. So, yeah, I think I just need to steal coins from Peach. Peach, yes. Let's see how many coins I get out of this. Look at her, go! She's shaking that boo violently. <laughs> 16 coins. Okay, that's still a lot. That's still a good amount, but one thing I should say about these super hard computers is that you have to mash A to fend off boo, right? Yeah. The computers literally mash at incomprehensible, inhuman speeds. In the last five turns, I'm pretty sure it's basically impossible to get 16 coins stolen. No, usually you get like 24 coins stolen, or maybe even potentially 30 if you're really bad. The AIs actually cheat. They're able to put in multiple inputs per frame, I'm pretty sure. Hard AIs don't do that, and neither do normal or easy ones, but super hard ones? No, they cheat. They actually cheat. Uh... I was actually hoping Mario would land on Bowser, because if we got Bowser Communism... <laughs> sorry, Bowser Revolution, then I wouldn't really have to worry too much about the points. Oh, another memory game. <laughs> okay. This game is self-explanatory, just memorize everything. Okay, DK Yoshi. Yeah! Okay, I think I can do this. Okay. So, Peach was at the bottom right, Mario was at the top right, then Luigi was at the bottom left, the egg was in the top left, the mushroom was in the middle, but the bananas were in the bottom right next to the Peach's crown, and Wario was in the bottom middle. I think that's it. So, this minigame I can actually do because it's visual memory, not like B Z A B A B Z B A A. -B. It also doesn't take as long. Yep, perfect score. Nice! I actually won a minigame! Now that's going in the record books. Now, huh. I just need to roll, I can't do anything else. How many coins are in? Five, wow. It would have just been better to land on a blue space. 
Okay, whatever. If I win... If I win the next minigame, I will get the coins... Well, no, I won't get the coin star, but I'll be ahead of Peachy Coins. Which I desperately need to win this game. Uh, this mini game is kind of weird and surprisingly difficult. You never really get the item you want from this mini game. Why does Peach have two anti lamps? Or whatever they're called? Or. I don't know why Peach has two of those, but basically the item, that item moves to star positioning if you want to screw over somebody else. And... nice. Mario is moving ahead and racing for the star, which I don't blame him. But even if he does get the star, he's not going to be part of the competition because he doesn't have any of the bonus stars. It doesn't matter if I win or lose this, because I'm on the same damn team as Peach! <sighs> I'm still going to compete for Minigame Star. Normally I would just think of not doing anything, but... No, I, I actually have to... I actually have to... Maybe consider that I might win the Minigame Star. So in this minigame, you put out the fire. As simple as that. Good thing Peach is on the pump, because, uh... She's a task bot. <laughs> okay. Please, just give me more fire I can extinguish. Yoshi and Peach are the ultimate firefighters. They should get an anime adaptation. Yoshi and Peach, firefighter force. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, DK and Mario one because I'm a human, so. This is the start of the uh, AI upbringing. This is the start of Cyberpunk. The AIs gradually get smarter and want to kill us, and they beat us at video games. Only two turns left. I don't think it's act it's not possible for Peach to actually win the or get the star now. And it's not possible for me to actually do anything either. So the best bet I have, the best bet I have is going up and trying for Bowser. Or hoping for a hidden block. Or hoping that Peach somehow loses. What if she land? No, she's not going to land on the bank. I need to beat Peach in this mini game. If I don't, I will lose this game. I have one more chance, but Peach can't win one without me. I need to win this mini game. Chip shot challenge. Oh fuck, we're playing golf? Whoa, my accent really kicked in there. Golf? <laughs> golf. Uh. Let's do this. Fuck off, Peach. So the thing about this minigame, whoever goes first has a clear disadvantage because everybody else can learn based off of the first person. Like, Peach, she's not going to make it. She is. What? <laughs> like, there? Oh, 
Okay. I mean, thing is, like, the first person to go has a clear disadvantage, but they also base turn order based on how... Uh, based on your ranking in the board. I'm in second place, so I went second. Peach was in first, so she went first, so on and so forth. So it's not as unbalanced as you might think it is, but it is also kind of unbalanced. This is one of those instances where everybody wins, and it isn't a draw. So... How am I going to get ahead of Peach? I don't know. Peach? This is stupid. Peach, you're cheating. So I lose this game. Unless Mario, like, somehow pulls off magic and, like, completely depletes all of Peach's coins. Oh, battle mini game! Mario, you may have just saved my ass. Fucking everything. 20, that's enough to make a difference. I need to get first place, though. Or, I need to get second place and make sure Peach is in fourth or third. So, in this battle minigame, if I can, I'm going to actively be sabotaging Peach. Russian Roulette. Okay. Pick a color and hope you win. <laughs> Peach, you need to lose. Always go red. <laughs> oh no. Why does it all come down to a luck-based minigame? Peach... WHAT?! I lost! That was a 1 in 6 chance! Or 1 in 4! 1 in 5! <laughs> That was a 1 in 5 chance of the chain shop picking me. <laughs> oh. Watch, Peach is going to win this game. She's going to get the mini game star and the coin star, and I'll only have the Apennine star to my name. Okay, she did win, but she got second place, which is still insulting enough. <sighs> Welcome to Mario Party. I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play in an endeavor of sadness. Is it even worth trying to win anymore? No. Peach has both minigame and coin star. Fuck off, Mario. Fuck off, Donkey Kong. And Mario. I don't care anymore. Time is up. <sighs> P 
each one. I cannot express my sadness. <laughs> I, I kind of knew this was going to happen when I picked super hard, but I underestimated how difficult these AIs were. But hard is too easy. Nicely done, everyone, and here are the results. First, let's look at the number of stars collected. You have each collected this many stars. Yes. Now let's look at the final number of coins. Yes, I did that. Mar- Wait, Mario has to co- Huh? Mario? If Mario has the coin star, Peach doesn't have it. And if Peach actually doesn't have the minigame star... Hold on a moment! J I won! I won! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was actually lucky! <laughs> I'm speechless, guys. I feel like I just, like... I feel like I'm in front of, like, a podium, like, standing up for my graduation speech. Like, I'm speechless. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so thank you to my parents, to my friends for supporting me. Thank you to those of you that supported me and subscribed. And thank you to everybody that watched this video or just randomly clicked on it. Thank you. Thank you. Detailed results. Okay, so I got two stars in the end. I was nowhere near close to the minigame star. DK actually had the minigame star by... Ooh. So if Mario actually... Okay, so the minigame star is counted by how many minigames are won during normal minigames. That... That's good to clear up. And... If Mario won one more minigame alone, he would have won. He would have come out of nowhere and won, because he would have tied for the minigame star with DK. Then he would have had two plus more coins than me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, DK landed on the most blue spaces. I landed on the most happening five. Uh, everybody but DK landed on a battle. I didn't land on too many items. E everybody fucking landed on the bank. No game guy. Who gets a game guy when he gets a game guy? But. That was the first episode of Mario Party. I hope you enjoyed it. Ah. <sighs> Thank you very much. In the next episode of Mario Party, we will continue the story. Goodbye. <laughs>